moves out. I should just move out of here. Then go ahead. You never do it anyways. Uh, there's this place in a town called Eldenwood. I can send you there. I'm JT Brooks, world famous paranormal investigator and author. Wait a minute, you say Eldenwood? Indeed, Eldenwood. It's where I live. I just got a place down and I got no way to go now. I think you could give me a line. Wow, look at this. Luigi, did someone know you were coming? If you want to be featured in the next episode, leave a comment down below and I'll read your comment in the next episode. I guess Wario put those up. He must have been, uh... Oh, I shall be going now. I hope you enjoy your time in Odinwood. Ah, oh, should probably get to bed. Five more minutes. Ah, oh, what? Who's more than grass? Wait a minute, it's still dark outside. It's three in the morning, isn't he sleep I have a life? Must be an Ellen Wood thing. Uh. 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 Who's throwing a party? I better not be the monkey guy! You'll hear about my noise complaints tomorrow. That damn monkey. The next morning. Jeez, it's some place. It's weird. It's like it's abandoned now. I think I need to do some investigating on this. Later. Fascinating. Brooks. Brooks. What is it, young man? My next door neighbor. Well, he threw a party last night, and he's crazy. Wait. You don't have a next-door neighbor. Oh, yes, I do, Arthur. I have a next-door neighbor, and he threw a party last night at like 5 in the morning. I don't know what he was doing. 5 in the morning, you say? My, my, that is mysterious. No one in these neck of the woods would be throwing a party at 5 in the morning unless they're trying to hide something. And the thing is, I knocked on his door this morning, and nobody answered. It's like it's empty. No one is there. We're gonna go X around in town to see if there was any mysterious parties last night. Later. Holy mamas! Uh, Arthur, why do we go to a pawn shop? This is the Hoppin' Shop. Owen and Glenn, why? I'm Glenn. And I'm Owen. And I'm Luigi. You like my frog voice? Please don't do that ever again. I'll be doing all the talking from here on out. What magical item do you rivet want access to? We got a lot of new stuff in the inventory. I'm kind of here to ask you a question. Go ahead and ask the question. Well, the question is, Luigi saw this mysterious party last night. By any chance were any of you two at a mysterious party? Party? No. The way you keep saying mysterious implies that it was weird. I had not seen any party going on. No party? Party? No. Huh. Luigi just moved in on Moose Creek. Mm-hmm. But that place got no one living in it. No one? Huh? Don't know what to tell you guys. Hmm, we have to ask a lot more people about this. Indeed. A few moments later. There's the library. Mm hmm Ah! Aw, chili cheese. Luigi. Mm -hmm. Ah, who are you? Why, I'm Shrek. I heard you just moved in, far away. It must be good you moved away from Mario. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's real nice. Wait a minute, how do you know my name? And how do you know I moved away from Mario? No time now. I must go. Enjoy the library. I hope you find books on your neighbor. What the crab balls? It's a library, we better be quiet. You are correct about that one, old friend. Man, I can't wait to pick out one of these books. Mm. We're not here to pick out a book. We're here to get more information than that mysterious party. Yeah, we need to figure out how a party happened in the house that nobody lives in. Wow, we. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Uh, excuse me, gentlemen. What do you guys want? We have some questions for you. Were you at a mysterious party last night? Oh, you mean like the one that's going on in Moose Creek? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Nope, I do have past it though. Oh, oh. Well, well, we wanted to know if anyone actually went to that party. Well, as far as I could tell, there's no cause in the driveway. It looked like nobody was home. Brox, that's mysterious. How can nobody be at a party that's wrong? Maybe the party flew itself. What? Sentient party phenomenon. It's the phenomenon when a party goes off only by the objects in its house. The only way we're going to figure this out off of is we go to that house tonight and we wait. Mm -hmm. We can wait all night. Mm. Ah, ah, ah. The party! The furniture came to life! His crazy show is white, the house is alive. Oh, my smoke! It's locked. That's weird. In these situations, the door's normally always opened. You try the window, see, huh? Genius idea. <laughs> well, is that a normal amount of walnuts? Totally normal amount of walnuts. What is this contraption? I think it's like an old phone. Couldn't be. My phone is mounted to my wall. So nothing seems off about this house. It just has a reasonable number of walnuts. Uh -huh. We could be crazy and just seeing things. No, I didn't think about that. I do see things fine. Wow, a little privacy. That's once a beautiful woman. You <laughs> ah! oh, of ghost all the time. Oh, you so you like EGAD. There's many different categories of ghosts. Spirits, who hasn't passed over yet. Poster guys, phantoms, off, and demons. What do you think we're dealing with here? Do you think it's bad? I'm gonna say we're most likely dealing with a spirit. Oh good, that's the lowest category. So this house really is just haunted and no one knows it. Oh, that music, can we turn it off? Where is it coming from? It's just watch. What do we do with it? Destroy it at once! <laughs> Finally then, cause the music is gone. What do you think it's for anyways? No! We turned the music off! But huh? hey, it's him! The monkey guy. What did you do? What did you do? Oh! No! Put your hands off him! That music is the only thing stopping that ghost! It's a humble spirit. No, it's not! What are you, crazy? It's a poltergeist! Oh, it fooled oh, me! Oh, it attacked oh, me! It changes things! Calm down, tell us your name, and Brooks will explain things for you. My name's Steve, what's your guys' is Brooks and Green Mustache Man. I'm Luigi, and that's Brooks. He's a paranormal investigator. And lucky for you, I have defeated many poster guys before. All we have to do is find their material anchor. Ooh, material anchor sounds complicated. What is it and what does that mean? Well, Luigi, a material anchor is an object that the spirit is still connected to. It uses it as an anchor into our world. I thought he did that to the fiend, did He grabbed onto one of the objects. I bet it's one I bought from the yard so. Well, where's the yard so stuff at? In the attic. But that's where he is all the time. Fascinating. The sound was able to trap him in the attic. Mamma mia, we're going to the attic. Okay, well here it is, the attic. Gee, you gotta calm down without being so scared. You have to find whatever it is at the poster guy's possession. This is all the stuff I bought from the yard sale. I don't know what it could be connected to. Could be this. This. Oh, you're gonna find it, Steve. We don't want that ghost us all. Yeah, we don't want that ghost us all, would we? Oh, a ghost! <laughs> Steve, do something! Oh, oh, oh. Hey, you can't judge my friend. No! 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 Me and you are gonna have to find the object to the with you all. Oh, I got it. Oh, uh... hey, mommy. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm, what could the object be? Hey, what's that sound? This is how I go. Steve, you got a spoke. Fudge. Material object. Whoa, buddy boy, leave that alone. So good for you, boo. It'll help. Ugh. You did it! You overcame your fears and defeated that ghost. I'm sorry it's like the first time something like this is ever happened to you, Steve. No. Just an 
another thing that's attacked me. It just strikes blocks. <laughs> 